Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello to all. For 8 weeks until early of October, we have to learn to live in new norm post-COVID-19 which the online learning has been implemented to ensure smooth process of teaching and learning. For that, all lecturers have tried their best to ensure all material has been delivered to the student. So please give us your fully cooperation to make this process go smoothly. We wish all of you a very good luck and see you in coming October. Hi student, this is the last part of Chapter 2, Industrial Building Allowance. A learning objective is very important to make sure each student are able to conquer what they had been learning. So these are the four learning objectives for this topic. Number one, you already learned on how to uh, calculate 10% rules and 75% rules and you also know what are the definition of factory, industrial building or non-industrial building. You also have been learned on calculation aspect which is included constructed building, purchase building, disposal building and you have know how to compute the losing charge for balance allowance. You also have been learned and understand what is the meaning of the temporary disuse and notional allowance and this part in last part you are going to learn other type of allowance which is agriculture sector and forest sector. Welcome to the last topic part 4. This is what you have been learned in part 1, part 2 and part 3 of the video and now we are going to have a look at in the last part which is regarding to agriculture allowance and forest allowance. So let's start student. Okay, so let's have a look at the definition of agriculture. In section 18, Income Tax Act 1967, agriculture ataupun uh, pertanian but kind uh, means any form of cultivation of crops, animal farming, aquaculture, inland fishing and other agriculture or pastoral pursuit. So let's have a look. Uh, this is a picture of cultivation of crop, any form of vegetable produce, tanaman, tanaman, sayuran, buahan. So it was, it was called as a crops. Okay. Uh, agriculture also mean for animal farming, such as kita ternak lembu, kambing, kerbau. Okay, any livestock. Agriculture also mean as aquaculture or inland fishing yang mana kita ada uh, kita ada buat membela uh, ikan dalam sangka ataupun membuat ikan uh, ataupun cendawan eh cendawan ataupun kupang, kerang uh, everything is called aquaculture Ataupun ada agriculture ataupun pastoral pursuit. Okay, kadang-kadang kita bukan uh, membeli binatang untuk makanan livestock sahaja, tetapi kita juga uh, membuat membuat uh, business uh, membeli kuda ataupun uh, haiwan untuk pertandingan. Okay, so those is called agriculture. Okay, so, let's continue. What are the qualifying agriculture expenditure QAE? That's what we have learned in part 3. Uh, it called qualifying building expenditure QBE. And seperti melibatkan building factory and else. But now in this topic, we are going to have a look at apakah expenses yang dibenarkan dalam agriculture. So in paragraph 7, Schedule 3 Income Tax Act 1967, it is, it is stated there that QAE melibatkan 
apa saja cost of clearing and preparation of land for purpose of agriculture maknanya kita membersihkan kita menyediakan kawasan untuk kita membuat uh, membuat aktiviti penanaman, penternakan dan lain-lain okay. contohnya kalau kita terpaksa uh, potong pokok-pokok lama untuk kita boleh buat aktiviti penanaman so aktiviti itu kos yang melibatkan pembersihan tanah tersebut boleh dikira sebagai sebab, sebagai QAE right so any number 2 is in, uh, is planting expenditure planting permulaan okey uh, cukup baja uh, kita beli tanah okey planting expenditure penye penanaman semula ni bisnes pertama okey aktiviti pertama Right, so belanja untuk planting adalah digunakan. Number three is construction on a farm of a bridge ataupun road. Kadang-kadang kita punya bisnes tu, uh, contoh lah eh, kita fikir, kita kita buat bisnes apa kaca, kita buat uh, ternak ikan dalam sangka, ikan sangka tersebut di tengah laut sana. Jadi kita terpaksa buat jambatan, we have to build a bridge so kita boleh uh, buat aktiviti mula uh, tersebut lah ok jadi pembinaan jambatan itu adalah sebahagian daripada QA itu juga kalau kita ada tanaman ok kita buat tanaman tu di dalam hutan sana ok so terpaksa kita buat jalan yang proper untuk kita keluar masuk uh, ladang tersebut kan so jalan itu juga adalah sebahagian daripada uh, QA ini Right, so number four is construction on a farm of a building. Okay. Sometimes we have to uh, build an accommodation for our worker. Okay, kita ada pekerja. Jadi kita kena jaga ikan, kena jaga ayam, kena jaga kambing, jaga lembu. Okay, jadi kita ada gunakan uh, rumah untuk pekerja. Okay, so pembinaan bangunan itu adalah digunakan sebagai sebahagian daripada QB ataupun kita buat office, kita buat um, kita buat uh, rumah untuk simpan stok eh kadang-kadang kalau kita ada uh, kalau kita buat mesin sepandu lepas kita uh, ambil hasil lepas kita buat hasil kalau kita dah putih hasil random tersebut kita kena letak dalam gudang ok so gudang yang kita bina tu juga adalah sebagian daripada QB Alright, so these are the rate of agriculture allowance. Okay, anything that regarding to uh, clearing and preparation of the land, tanah, pembersihan tanah, rate dia adalah 50%. Begitu juga bila kita ada buat uh, aktiviti penanaman. Okay, baja tanah pun 50% juga. Construction of food uh, or bridge okay, eh, pun 50%. Okay, but building 20%. Uh, building yang tidak ada berkaitan dengan uh, living accommodation lah maksudnya building selain daripada tempat tinggal bekerja 10% sahaja right so you have to remember this rate of agriculture and means so let's have a look for example Pesco Enterprise business activity comprises of trading in commodities and working on a rubber plantation okay Sport, this business made it okay, kita kita kategorikan dia sebagai agriculture because uh, dia involved kepada rubber plantation okay, it has decided to replace okay, replace to replace the old rubber tree with oil palm tree okay, nak tukar daripada pokok putah kepada pokok kelapa sawit so this is not a replanting lah ok sebab dia dua tanaman yang berbeza kalau daripada getah um, lama kepada getah baru so any expenses regarding to aja tidak digunakan ok tapi ini kita tukar daripada rubber getah kepada kelapa sawit ok so uh, the accounting period for Basco Enterprise was 31st December so the company incurred the following expenditure okay 
Alright, so as usual, when it comes to accounting period, so you have to determine timeline first, okay? The timeline. Okay, the timeline. Okay, satu hari bulan satu until thirty first. Alright. Okay, so anything you have to decide, you have to state any activity that happened with with the accounting year. Alright, so kalau kita tengok yang pertama ni Okay, yang kita tengok yang pertama ni 2015 kan So, this is will be Year assessment Year assessment 2000 Alright okay. Same with this Same with this And same with this But this, this will begin on 2016 So you have to make the timeline. So kalau so you takkan salah lah. Alright, kita buat timeline dulu. Okay. So uh, we have uh, we have learned in for this slide. You already know the rate of each uh, expenses. Okay. So you have to remember uh, how much is uh, what is the rate for clearing land. What is the rate for road, labor quarter, planting and oil palm tree, office building, come store. Okay, so anything, uh, everything here is 50%. Okay, this is 50%. Okay, road is 50% also. Labor quarter, labor quarter is uh, related to living information and stuff. So this is twenty percent. Okay, planting of oil palm tree. This is a new business, a uh, new plantation. So we we'll get a fifty percent also. But the office building ten percent because uh, the building that building other than labor quarter, uh, the rate is ten percent. So, how are we going to calculate? So, let's have a look at the next slides. Okay, so this is how the uh, computation uh, of agriculture and human uh, has been made. Okay, so we already, uh, we already get this information, which is uh, the clearing of land is 50%, road for 50%, uh, planting oil, uh, palm tree is 50%, the labor quarter is 20% and other building is 10%. So, uh, so so this is the expenses. This is the expenses given. So you have to divide 50% uh, times this amount. So for 2015 because uh, these expenses, the clearing has the clearing of land, the road, the labor quarter, planting of oil pump is uh, incurred in 2015. However, the office building here is occurred in 2016. So, alright, so we are going to calculate 160,000 times 50%, you will get 80,000 for 2015. Right, sixty thousand times fifty percent is thirty thousand. One hundred thousand times twenty percent is forty thousand. Fifty thousand times hundred thousand is fifty thousand. Right, so uh, in two thousand fifteen, there are no, uh, there are no expenses regarding to this building. Okay, so let's have a look at the two thousand sixteen. In 2016, okay, so 50% uh, has been used in 2015. So we have another 50% which is uh, there will be claimed in 2016. 80, right? The other half will be claimed in 30,000 in 2016. 20% we have been used 20%. So we get, we still have another 80%. So we will claim for another year. Right, so these are for second year. 
and in 2016 this building has been uh, built and the company can claim for uh, agriculture allowance so 10% times 150,000 amounted is 50,000 in 2017 the best co enterprise best co enterprise cannot claim for clearing of land because it's already utilized for two years before that because 50 percent then right so they dapat pakai for two years so and so next year tak nak claim dah lah because they finish the allowance has been fully utilized same with the road Okay. However, the labor quarter just use uh, the labor quarter still have another three years because twenty percent has been used here, thirty percent has been used here, so we have another three years. Okay, so we can claim for another three years, right? So the next uh, so the next year cannot be claimed yet, nah. Cannot be claimed anymore because the habis at twenty percent. Kita bahagi dengan Five years to so finish 100% already utilized. Same with uh, planting of all palm tree, we has been utilized it for two years, so the third year cannot be claimed anymore. Okay. The office building comes store is 10%. The rate is 10%, so we can utilize it for 10 years. Okay, one year, two year, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in 2026, okay, you cannot claim for this. No, finish already, finish already, finish already. Also here, nil. Okay, so this is how the agriculture allowance are computed. All right, so uh, let's move to the forest uh, allowance. Oh yes, before that you must understand about this, okay? I'm going to repeat this again. If, if the company, if the BESCO enterprise do the replanting, replanting means from old rubber tree to new rubber tree, so they cannot claim for this part okay because uh, because you only can claim uh, agriculture allowance for planting expenditure not replanting okay remember eh? so nak claim untuk uh, planting expenditure mestilah daripada tanaman lain kepada tanaman yang lain dia tak boleh daripada uh, tanaman yang sama tapi dah lama kepada tanaman yang baru tanaman yang baru tapi jenis yang sama okay, contoh ni macam kelapa sawit kan right uh, kelapa sawit kalau ada lebih, lebih 10 tahun mereka akan buat penanaman baru ok mereka akan tanam pokok yang baru pokok kelapa sawit yang baru uh, letak baja yang baru ok dia beli ada pokok yang baru so those expenses cannot be claimed sebab itu adalah replanting so you have to uh, understand about that ok so let's move to another subtopic which is Forest Allowance So what are the definition of forest agriculture? The forest agriculture ni adalah untuk melibatkan pembalakan Jadi forest allowance ni only will be given to a person who is carrying uh, a business of extracting timber in a forest and have incurred qualifying forest expenditure okay uh, they must get a license first eh? get a license get a license it's not simply just go and potong cut uh, chop all the trees eh? cannot mesti ada license okay so for those yang buat buat business pemalakan ni uh, layak untuk claim forest agriculture so what does it mean by forest in paragraph 8, subsection 2, schedule 3. It is said that forest means a forest in respect of which a person has a concession or a license to extract timber. 
there from for the purpose of a business of this which consists wholly or partly of that extraction. Okay, maknanya mereka ni kena ada lesen untuk potong dan bawa keluar uh, pembalakan. Okay, tak kisah sama ada uh, bisnes tu di fully memang dia buat bisnes pembalakan ataupun di sebahagian. Uh, sebahagian daripada projek dia adalah pembalakan. Okay, so boleh claim for uh, forest and away. Okay, so let's have a look what are the qualifying big forest expenditure, QFE, okay, uh, alright, QBE is for building, qualifying building expenditure, QAE for qualifying agriculture expenditure, while QFE is for qualifying forest expenditure. So there are two uh, expenses that related to QFE. One is a road or building used for the purpose of a business of this which consists wholly or partly of the extraction of timber from the forest. So, apa-apa saja perbelanjaan berkaitan dengan uh, pembuatan jalan ataupun bangunan yang digunakan untuk pembelanjaan. Okay? Sepanjang uh, proses aktiviti uh, pembelakan dibuat, so belanja pun adalah sebahagian daripada kita. Ataupun bangunan yang dibina untuk living accommodation for their workers, right? Okay. Okay. So let's look at the rate of allowance for QFE. Right. So uh, for expenses regarding to the road or building used for the business, such as office, tempat apa, membuat jalan untuk beli keluar masuk untuk beli balak pun dia buku bunga penyalur sungai, perusahaan penyalur sungai untuk barat tersebut ataupun building digunakan untuk simpan kayu balak, storage kan so I know allowance dia adalah 10% so bila kata 10% it's mean uh, it will be uh, the company can claim for uh, allowance for 10 years okay until it fully utilized however there are no initial allowance are given for QFE. But meanwhile, uh, for building provided for welfare or living accommodation for this rumah bangunan yang dibina untuk tempat kediaman pekerja, okay, the annual the annual allowance given for 20%. Kita bagi 20% for each year and it will be fully utilized in 5 years. Right? So, uh, these are the rate of allowance for QFE. Okay, so we have uh, come to the end uh, on summary on part 4. So you have been learned two other uh, types of uh, sec sector which is including agriculture sector uh, and you have been learned about the allowance for agriculture allowance. You have learned about the definition, the type of uh, agriculture sector. You also have been learned about the rate of allowance. Okay, and you also have been learned about forest sector. You have been learning about the definition of forest forest sector uh, and the rate and the rate of allowance for forest sector. Alright, so student. Until here, you have been done and you have been complete uh, in learning part, uh, in learning topic 2 which is industrial building allowance. So, congratulations to everybody. So, please, uh, uh, please do some revision, do a lot more of exercises so you can uh, excel more in this topic. Alright, so uh, kindly and uh, kindly fill up the um, kindly fill up the e certificate at the end of the slide, so you can get your own uh, your own achievement completion uh, learning and watch the video for industrial building and So see you then, student. Good luck.